don't not forget. Yeah. Let me share my screen. Here is. Can you see my screen now? Yeah. Okay. No, it's not completely neat. Yeah. Here is this chapter is basic programming. Uh, it focuses on very few specific concept. The first thing the chapter addresses um, the flow control introduction. It means that introduces that we can construct a whole routine in a text file. This for having a best uh, control in what we are doing because previously, uh, in previous chapter, we uh, were only writing um, isolated commands in the in the console. So now it's introdu introducing uh, constructing a whole routine in a text file. And also addresses the construction of loops, the um, conditional statements such as if and else, creating functions, and yeah, implicit uh, loops such as uh, using fun functions of, such as supply, apply, and buy. And also the chapter, I mean, through the chapter, the author emphasizes writing efficient code and uh, commenting the code and utilizing vectorized operations with possible. This in order to um, incorporate the best practices for cleaning, organizing a uh, code routine. So the first uh, thing or the first section in the chapter is the construction of a script. Um, yeah, the, it says that scripts are a form, a way to, to communicate with the computer uh, talking the same languages. The author says that a script is basically a text file. Um, indeed, the author suggests or first um, provides provides an example creating or oh, what is here in my chapter A. Yeah, the out to exemplify that scripts are just a text file. The authors put an example of writing just in a simple uh, text program, a simple command, which is like hello world and the function print. I mean, hello world to the object X to print it and that's it. And save it as hello.r. And after that, we can um, read it with the fun function source. And it, this, uh, this function is going to, to read our text file. So yeah, it says like, it's not like very complicated. It's just our way to communicate with the computer. And also the author um, emphasized the benefits of having a, a script rather than just writing in the console. In, uh, among the benefits of this is that we can like have an effective work saving and um, being able to correct errors in our routine, taking notes on the code, uh, reuse the analysis for reproducibility and sharing our work with others. Um, Yeah, we have we can we can reuse the codes for for their analysis and yeah, it's a best way to to construct a routine reproducibility and this thing. So after emphasizing or mentioning what is a script and the benefits, the next thing is writing um, our first script. So. 
Ah, yeah, here is where, where the author write a simple script in a text file. Then this could be uh, wrong with the source function as any other uh, code we, we have saved in our wor workspace. And also introduces R Studio in this part as a specialized way or program for writing scripts. And yeah, it, yeah, it mentioning things that we saw previously in, I think, the first chapter when we have these windows and the main windows is for writing our script. And also the next uh, thing mentioned here is that we comment and is highly advised that we should comment our script as much as possible. This is uh, done through put this, um, what is this symbol? Do you know the name of this symbol? Oh, yeah, this uh, symbol before a text for commenting a whole a script. And yeah, once we, we have an, a script, we can upload it through the function source. Um, Uh, yeah, it sees that when, when we are writing in our studio, there are some difference than when we are writing in the console. One is that for seeing the results, we need sometimes use explicitly use the function print for seeing the results. And yeah, additionally, the author mentioned a distinction between using require and library library for loading packages in a script. The main difference are that the library function, the name of the package, should be enclosed in quotes while in required um, the quotes are not required. And also the library uh, try to install the packages, but if it could not find the, the package, it generates an error and stop the execution, execution of, of the script. Well, the function required check um, if the package is installed, but if not, it returns a logical value false. But the main difference with library is that it doesn't stop the execution. I think that this was something uh, new for me, but yeah. And basically it says that this is the ba basic things for, uh, for, I mean, the ba very basic information about the script. And also the next section is about loops. Uh, loops are blocks of code to execute repeatedly certain um, function or parts of the code until certain criterion is, criteria or criterion is met. There are three main types of loops on, on R the while loop, for loop, and repeat. And in here we have the while loop. The main, the basic st structure of while loop is the word while, the condition, and the st statements inside this uh, bracket or the bracket. In the, in a while loop, Yeah, the loop continues executing as long as the condition produces a logical value of true. Here, for example, the author put this example 
where a loop is used to calculate the smallest multiple of 17 that is greater than or equal to 1000. And the for loop iterates over a fixed number of iterations. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, the, the user has to specify the number of iterations. The basic structure of a for loop is the word for. Um, the bar, where bar takes on the values from the vector in each iteration. And within the brackets, the state, statements or the actions to, to do with the, I mean, the things to do repeatedly as defined in the for uh, loop. For example, here we have a practical example where we are saying like for E in one, two, three, print hello. So the um, the loop is just repeating the word hello. And finally, the author um, provide an example of a more realistic loop. Here is where we are seeing a simulation of the progress, progression of our mortgages. The mortgage involves a couple borrowing 3, uh, $3,000 at $300,000 at 5% annual interest rate within, with 106, What what one thousand six hundred monthly pay, payments? The script calculates the monthly balance payments and interest of the thing the balance until it reaches zero. The loops, the loop stops when the balance is uh, zero or is paid off. Uh, it means the total payment and the total payments made are displayed. Yeah, initially the um, what is here? Yeah, the balance, the variables to use in the loop are defined. For example, the count, the number of months, the initial mortgages balance, the monthly payments, the interest rate per year, and the track what what we have paid in the bank. So um, yeah, this is example, just example of how a loop can be used for a problem in real life. Um, yeah. The next section is about conditional statements. Um, it says that conditional statements could be used for evaluate when a condition is met. Uh, and if so, we can execute a specific codes of blocks accordingly to this condition. The very uh, basic structure of a condition statement is this using, I mean, we have to use the if uh, word or function, and then define our condition, and then open the brackets for defining or for specifying a statement or actions to do um, if the condition, usually it says that usually the condition statement or is used together with else to say or to specify that if the condition is met, then or else we are going to uh, do a second action. 
I mean, here is a practical example, for example, uh, we define an object today with the date in the system and we define what the week of the day is today for using in a conditional statement. So for example, it says if the day or to today is equal to Monday, let's print I don't like mo Mondays, otherwise or else, let's print I am happy little automaton. So when as today is not Monday, when we run this uh, example, the uh, the output is I am a happy little automaton. Um, it says that there are alternatives or, or yeah, conditional statements in R such as if else or switch. I don't know switch. I have I have never used it, but uh, unfortunately, the book says that it's not like the scope. It's not within the scope of this <laughs> this chapter, so it's not like address. So um, the next part of the book is writing function. And um, yeah, it says function are just like blocks of code for, um, yeah. Yeah, blocks of code for doing something with uh, most of the part of, of the code hidden or hidden. Um, yeah, it says that uh, the basic syntax of uh, for creating a function is this one, where we use the function or the yeah the function function sorry, and um, after this or the next thing to do is defining the arguments to use within the function. And then the actions to do with the argument. So, for example, in here, uh, as an example, we are writing a function called quadruple, which only is multiplying uh, a value for four. So, the, for, for creating a function, we just need to use the word function and then specify the arguments, open the brackets, and then say we are going to do with the arguments within the function provided, provided to the function. Um, yeah, is if we saw what type of object is quadruple, we are going to see that is defined as a function. And yeah, we are ready for use it. You just, we need to use this the function and define the x as 10 here, which needs x. We define it as x and print the result. And the result is just 40, which is 10 for 40. And finally, I mean, it says that there are any kind or types of function could be like really complicated or advanced or very specific for doing very uh, specific task. But at the moment it says that um, it's enough for the book knowing how to construct a very basic function. So, and um, finally the chapter addresses implicit loops which is, um, I mean, there are functions that can do the same of a loop, but in a more simple, in a simpler way. For example, just using a simple uh, line of code rather than uh, several lines is a more clean way for, or could be um, seen as a more clean for writing code. It provides two examples of this 
type of functions, which is supply and, and supply. Um, the function supply takes two arguments, a data vector and a function, which is the function to apply to each element of the vector. Here is an example. For example, the vector is, is words with several types of words. And if we use supply, supply with the function n character is going to could, sorry, to count the number of uh, letters in each word. So, uh, and also is provided the example of the apply function, which it has uh, three main arguments, the data, the index or which is the grouping variable and the function to apply at the subsets of the data. For example, I, and here we have the, the vector age with serial ages and the gender of each um, age. So with this, we can just apply the function to apply. For example, the data is age, the index or the grouping variable to use is gender and the function is mean. So if we apply this, the output is that for female, the mean is 10 and for male is close to 12. And it says that there are similar function by, which uh, perform the same task as the apply, but with different output format. format. But yeah, it's basically the same. We provide the age, the indices is the grouping variable and the function to you to apply. And yeah, it's just a different way of output. And yeah, basically it's all in the chapter. It's a very basic uh, programming. I didn't know about by, the by function. Yeah, yeah me, cool. me neither. Yeah. But most probably this um, uh, few bunch of information are out of date as they update the tidyverse. So I'm not sure how much this book is updated on the latest uh, improvements. But anyway, so if you look at the R4 Data Science book, the second edition, um i i did it like uh, uh, one court uh, with this and there was a switch uh paragraph talking mm -hmm. about the switch function and everything so now i can uh, i had a quick look i can find it but um uh so there's lots of uh like similar things on the on uh, on this book about loops and everything which is uh, uh, good to know basically it's very important and uh, right yeah so it's clear and there's uh, some examples and everything so do you want to like just stop here and then we resume next week yep yep yeah sure let me put stop here. Yep.